something fun to look at. Uh, line L passes through negative 7, negative 6, and 8, 14, so I just drew a rough little sketch so we can see it. Uh, what is the x-intercept of the, of the line perpendicular to L at its y-intercept? So we have another line that's perpendicular to our original line at its y-intercept. So we want to know the x-intercept of this new line, which is perpendicular to L, at its y-intercept. So what I'd like to do is find an equation of this new line, and once I have the equation of the new line, I can find its uh, anything I want. So uh, to find an equation of the line, I just need a point on a line and a slope of the line. So, uh, so anytime you want to find an equation of a line, and I have more videos on these, you need a point on your line and you need a slope of your line. So um, I know my slope is supposed to be perpendicular to L slope, and I know my y-intercept should be the same as the y-intercept of L. So let's find, and I don't know what the y-intercept of L is yet, um, so let's find the equation of line L first, and then we'll find the equation of our new line. So the uh, point that I know is on line L, you can choose either one, doesn't matter. The slope, it goes through them, so it's uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm getting 20 over 15, which reduces to 4 over 3. And so if I do my y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 for an equation of my line, I get y plus 6 equals 4 thirds times x plus 7. And so uh, y plus 6 equals 4 thirds times x, sorry, 4 thirds x plus 28 over 3. If I subtract 6, I'm subtracting 18 thirds. So 18, 28 thirds minus 18 thirds is 10 thirds. So y equals 4 thirds x plus 10 thirds. So this is the equation of line L. So that's good because my new uh, line is based off of that. So my new line has the, uh, I can just go straight, has the same y-intercept as my old one, because it's at its y-intercept. So the b should be 10 thirds. And it has, it's perpendicular, so it has um, the opposite reciprocal slope. So if this slope here is 4 thirds, then my slope is negative 3 fourths. Flip it over and make it negative. So I can just do straight y equals mx plus b, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 10 thirds is the equation of my new line. We're not done yet because they want the x-intercept of my new line. So if I want an x-intercept, I know that the y must be 0. So I'm going to just say that 0 equals negative 3 fourths x plus 10 thirds. Almost there. Add the 3 fourths. So 3 fourths x equals 10 thirds. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal, so multiply by 4 thirds, and you'll get x equals 40 ninths. And you look and you're happy because that answer is there, and it is b. So somewhere out here at x equals 40 ninths, that's the x-intercept of the line that's perpendicular to line L at its y-intercept. Now, for fun, um, if you want to practice, go ahead, do this on graph paper, do it all nice out, see if that makes sense. Have fun.